greetings of the day we all have got together today to understand what gda is all about well we are at the minerva institute of medical sciences who are running a course which is called gda which is the general duty assistant course let's first where is the institute the institute is at sidhuwala dehradun now what does the institute do well the institute is in itself providing unique facilities which no other institute in dehradun is doing how let's answer this first we have the institute is not only giving you an educational training what is more important within the framework of a, of a general duty assistant also known as nanny workers care assistants senior care workers all across the world provides with its technical partner arihant hospital practical training which is the most important aspect of any course that you do it's it's not only about practical training it is also about what kinds of subjects are you going to cover in most of the institutes when we talk about gda training they will cover patient care diaper management but the topics that are essentially covered at the minerva institute of medical sciences in a program called gda are very different why because the program don't doesn't want you to cater to the domestic market they where the salary structure is about 18000 to 25000 they also want that with the global expansion and the need of care workers abroad should be covered so they have covered a vast area we will speak about the topics covered in a while whereas now let's talk about the scope and also why minerva why gda from minerva number 1 it's a globally acclaimed and respected program it is internationally recognized number 3 the globe now wants nanny workers care workers healthcare assistants around the world like new zealand wherein you don't even have to go ahead and give an english exam number 2 uk where you do not everybody thinks you know if i have to move abroad i need to give an ilts well there are other english mediums also which would cover suppose you are a graduate and you do a gda program you do not have to give an ilts exam at all now if you are a class 12th pass and you do a gda program minerva will help you do a ukvi test to move abroad it is the only institute around which is not only catering the domestic market but helping you with visas helping you with work permits helping you in guidance to immigration wherein they define the correct structure now that i have explained it to you where the institute is what is the institute all about who are our technical partners uh what is the scope in terms of domestic market as well as abroad we will now see how is the course globally accepted and how is the coverage of the course different now essentially what minerva has done they have not concentrated only on the operational part in the course they have given a holistic structure to the entire course we will essentially divide it into three first would be the basic understanding of what you should know before handling a patient number 2 is the operational management part which would cater to how would you for example make a bed and number 3 is the legal and the documentation aspect which is very important as a healthcare assistant we will start from a small topic and we will then expand it to larger topics so that you know what you are getting into so as a healthcare worker you know that you will have to handle a patient carefully so what they teach you is about human body the parts of a human body how to handle 
a particular patient in terms of uh, knowing that what are what are the joints which needs to be handled what is the structure of a human body suppose there is a patient and you pick him up you know no course will teach you how to pick a patient carefully whereas minerva is going to teach you which joint which nerve to handle carefully they are going to teach you about the human system the human body the fall prevention uh, the personal hygiene not only this bio how to handle the biomedical waste and also the excreta of a patient which is very very important because disposal of a sick excreta patient carries a lot of importance where medical is concerned so they are appropriately training you even to go ahead and handle emergencies emergencies like how to give a cpr they are going to teach you how to use a suction machine how to administer oxygen essentially it is not it is going to be not only a gda training but also what a nurse can do but under due care now coming down to the legal aspects which they are covering they will teach you about when you approach a uh, approach a patient what are you supposed to do the forms you need to fill the documentation that you need to cover if a patient dies they're going to teach you about mortuary management which is really never covered at an institute which i have seen what else does a gda do small things like you know how how to have soft skills and communication towards a patient how will soft skills and communication help you in the indian market when you approach a patient you actually come in context with your own language whereas if you try and move abroad you need to have those soft skills you need to have those communication skills you need to know how to handle a patient so like i said a holistic approach needs to be carried where a general duty assistant or a nanny worker or a senior care worker or a nursing assistant is there in addition to this they also teach you about how to handle a preg pregnancy patient how to handle a child how to handle a elder how to be how to develop your patience level i think all of you should come down visit us have with an open mind and see how we are different and how we are providing you a one stop training one stop placement and one stop to move abroad